Hello students, welcome to the lecture on input devices and after the lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Define the concept of input devices, discuss the typing input devices, explain the pointing input devices, discuss the scanning input devices, explain the audio visual input devices. Let's start with a brief introduction to the input devices. Input information and programs are entered into the computer through the input devices such as the keyboard, disk or through other computers via network connections or modems connected to the internet. The input devices also retrieves information of the disks. Input is any data or instructions entered into the memory of a computer. An input device is any hardware component that allows a user to enter data and instructions into a computer. An input device is any hardware device that sends data to reference the computer. Without any input devices, a computer would only be a display device and not allow users to interact with it, much like a TV. Let's now take a look on the concept of input devices. An input device is any piece of hardware that can be used to send data into the computer system. Input devices are used to enter data and instructions into the computer memory from the external world. There are many different kinds of devices, some rely on humans to originate the signal, for example, keyboards and mice, whilst others generate the signals as a result of a physical change, such as a temperature sensor. They perform three main functions, receive data from the user, convert the data into binary form, the language of 0 and 1, also called the machine language. Machine language is the only language a computer can understand directly. Provide converted data to computer memory for processing. Input Devices Input Devices are devices that provide information and data to the computer. For instance, in the human body, information enters the brain through eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. In a computer, information enters through the input devices. Some common input devices are given below. Keyboard A keyboard is one of the most commonly used input devices. It is used for typing letters and numbers along with some special characters. Mouse A mouse is a pointing device that is used for pointing at objects on the monitor. It is also used for drawing images. The mouse can be moved on a smooth surface to control the movement of the pointer on the monitor. Scanner A scanner is used to convert text or an image to its electronic representation which can be viewed on the monitor. These scanned images can be used in different documents. A scanner is like a photocopier machine. Joystick A joystick is an input device which helps in playing computer and video games. It has one or more buttons on it. Microphone When you speak over a microphone, you can record your voice or other sounds into the computer. Lab. 
light pen A light pen is an input device which is similar to a mouse It is used to draw any figure directly on the computer screen Let us understand the typing input devices keyboard Keyboard is the most familiar input device. It is most widely used input device to enter data and instructions into the computer. Keyboard has a set of keys like a typewriter. It has alphabetic keys for A, B, C to Z or small letter A, B, C to Z. It has numeric keys like 0, 1, 2, 3, 9. It has functions keys like F1, F2, 2, F12. These are used to perform a specific tasks. It has other keys used for editing like delete, backspace, home, end, etc. Touchpad. A touchpad is a device for pointing, controlling input positioning on a computer display screen. It is an alternative to the mouse. A touchpad works by sensing the user's finger movement and downward pressure. The touchpad has since become the leading cursor controlling device in laptops. Many laptops use a trackballs. Let's talk about pointing input devices. A pointing input device is an input device which is used to control the movement of the pointer to select the items on a display screen. Mouse. Mouse is an input device that is used to control the motion of the pointer on the screen. A mouse has two or three buttons called left, right and middle button. Buttons are used to perform different functions. Trackball. Trackball is an input device like a mouse. It is used in the laptop computers to control the motion of a pointer on the screen. It is a pointing device like upside down mouse. It has a ball on its upper side. This ball is moved by your fingers or your thumb and the pointer moves accordingly on the screen. Joystick is an input device that is used to play games on a computer. Pointing stick. A pointing stick is a pressure sensitive small nub that is similar to a pencil eraser which is used like a joystick. It is usually found on laptops that is fixed between the G, H and the B keys. The pointer on the screen moves when the user pushes pointing stick with the finger. Graphics tablet. A graphics tablet consists of a special pen called stylus and a flat pad. The image is created on the monitor screen as the user draws it on the pad with the help of the stylus or the special pen. Touch screen. In ATM and in the latest smartphones, touch screen is used to receive input from the users. The user enters data by the touch of his finger on different menu options or icons present on the touch screen. Light pen. Light pen is an input device consisting of a special pen that is connected to a computer's monitor. The user points at the screen with the pen and selects the items or the chooses commands. Let's now take a review on scanning input devices. Data scanning devices are input devices which are used for direct entry into the computer system from the source documents. Image scanner. An image scanner is an input device which translates the paper documents into an electronic format which can be stored in a computer. The input document may be text, pictures and even handwritten material. The copy of a document stored in a computer and can be displayed or printed whenever desired. Flatbed scanner. A flatbed scanner is like a copy machine which consists of a box having a glass plate on the top. The documents to be scanned is placed upside down on the glass plate. The light is below the glass plate and it moves horizontally from left to right when activated. After scanning one line, the light beam moves up a little and scans a next line. This process is called repeated for all the lines. Handheld scan. A handheld scanner is to scan a document. The scanner is slowly dragged from one end of the document to its other end with its light on. The scanner has to be dragged very carefully over the document. They are also much cheaper as compared to flatbed scanners. The computer cannot interpret the stored documents as number characters and special symbols. The storage required for storing the document. Scanner. A scanner is a device which scans documents containing text or graphics and converts them into a bitmap, that is, digital picture image. It optically scans images or printed text and converts it to a digital image. It captures images from photographic prints, posters, magazine pages, and similar sources for computer editing and display. A scanner may be linked to optical character recognition software, allowing printed documents to be converted to electronic text without having to type them in at a keyboard.
types of scanner. Most scanners today are variations of the desktop or flatbed scanner that allows documents to be placed on a flat scanning surface. There are several types of scanner. Flatbed scanner. It has a glass window where the item to be scanned is placed on top of while the head moves past the item. This method is similar to a Xerox machine. Handheld scanner. A handheld scanner is held with the hand and is moved slowly down the document or object, scanning it as it moves. The scanner should be moved at a constant speed without starting or stopping or jerky movements in order to obtain best results. However, modern scanners can generate large volume of data in a matter of seconds. Therefore, fast connection between scanner and PC is required, such as USB connections. Barcode Reader A barcode reader or barcode scanner is an electronic device for reading printed barcodes. It contains decoder circuitry analyzing the barcode's image data provided by the photoconductor and sending the barcode's content to the scanner's output port. Barcodes consists of different groups of vertical bars that can be read by an optical scanner. They are printed on nearly every product. Supermarkets use barcode reader to read data from a product item barcode and transferred to the processor to determine price and product details. A barcode reader consists of a scanner, a decoder, either built-in or external, and a cable used to connect the reader with a computer. Because a barcode reader merely captures and translates the barcode into numbers and letters, the data must be sent to a computer so that a software application can make sense of the data. Image and Video Input Devices It is a device for generating a video signal for an image reproduction apparatus. A digital camera records and stores photographic images in digital form that can be fed to a computer for viewing and printing. A webcam produces a blue-black mode object into a legible document display. Therefore, a web camera or webcam is an image and video input device, which is a real-time camera whose images can be accessed using the PC video software application. The images can be uploaded to a web server, either continuously or at regular intervals. Video conferencing applications can use a webcam connected directly to a PC. Today, there are thousands of webcams that provide views of homes, offices, and other buildings as well as providing panoramic views of cities. Special webcams are used to monitor traffic, weather, and even volcanoes. The video feeds obtained from webcams are uploaded to a computer where it can be processed using appropriate software. Audio Input Devices Audio input devices allow a user to send audio signals to a computer for processing, recording, or carrying out commands. Audio input devices, such as microphones, allow users to speak to the computer in order to record a voice message or navigate software. A microphone is an audio input device, which is a transducer that converts sound into an electrical signal for recording onto computers. It is very popular as a sound input device and is used with multimedia applications, such as for voice recording, speech recognition, and teleconferencing. Microphones now come as headsets, USB microphones, or Bluetooth and wireless headset. Wired Gloves A wired glove is a glove-like input device for virtual reality environments. Various sensor technologies are used 
to capture physical data, such as bending of fingers. The gloves detect the movement of the hands, enabling the user to touch and move objects in a virtual environment. By using them, the users can interact more realistically with virtual environments than when using a joystick, mouse, trackball, or so. Despite some attempts to develop low-budget wired gloves have been made, these useful devices remain as very expensive tools for the common user. However, the fundamental task in computer input is to transfer information from the brain of the user to the computer. Progress in this discipline attempts to develop better human-computer interface by seeking faster, more natural, and convenient means for a user to transmit information to a computer. Here we will understand the audio-visual input devices. Most digital cameras do not directly input data into a computer. They store photographs on a memory card. The photographs can later be transferred to a computer. A modern digital camera can capture 10 megapixels or more per photograph. That's 10 hundred thousand colored dots or pixels in every photo. Video camera. A device that captures moving images or video. Like a digital camera, most video cameras do not directly input data into a computer. The captured movies are stored on videotape or memory cards and later transferred to a computer. There are some situations where video cameras do feed video data directly into a computer, television production and video conferencing. In these situations, the video data is required in real time. Webcam. This is a very basic video camera that is used to feed live video into a computer. The video data from a webcam is low quality compared to a full video camera. However, it is good enough for web chats, example, using a messenger application such as MSN Messenger or Skype. Usually a webcam is clipped to the top of a monitor, but many laptops now have webcams built into the edge of the screen. Microphone. The signal from a microphone is usually analog, so before it can be processed by a computer, it must be converted into digital data. An analog to digital converter ADC is used for this, usually built into the computer's sound card. Many headphones now come with microphones to allow them to be used with the chat and phone application. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Input devices are used to enter data and instructions into the computer memory from the external world. Keyboard has a set of keys like a typewriter. It has alphabetic keys for A, B, C to Z or small a, b, c to z. It has numeric keys like 0, 1, to 3 till 9. Data scanning devices are input devices which are used for direct entry into the computer system from source documents. Most digital cameras do not directly input data into a computer. They store photographs on memory cards.